Good morning. What is up? It's your buddy Jake here. We have an awesome event going on today. It's called the Take a Vet Fishing. That's right. Obviously, we're going fishing. It's a fishing channel. So I'm here with Bill. I'm here with Rich. Tell me about the event, guys. How long has this been running for? Uh, this is the 10th annual uh, Veterans Fishing Day. Uh, we've been uh, bringing veterans from the Jefferson Barracks and group homes in St. Louis area out here to this lake, and uh, it's it's a great event. We usually, like add, we usually add about uh, have anywhere from 40 to 65, which has been the average of veterans coming out from the, mostly from, like Rich said, the BA hospital. This year we're expecting 85 veterans, uh, some with their families, to come out and enjoy the day. There's a, there's a big, uh, for, for words, it's a big barbecue. It's an event to get them out. Uh, everyone, every vet here that, that comes out today will leave with a gift and sometimes a lot of them get gift cards and uh, we try to make it an enjoyable day where it's uh, worth their while to come out and get away. Yeah, so again, this channel loves just the opportunity of helping out uh, not only veterans, but really anything, charities, uh, veterans, through fishing specifically. And this is another one that we take advantage of and we will in the future. Um, being out here, helping these veterans get out, get an outlet of their every day even, uh, really enjoy nature, enjoy God's creation. It gives them an opportunity to kind of let go of everything they have going on and enjoy what uh, fishing is all about. So other than fishing, what else can we expect out of uh, the event today? A lot of the guys like to come out and just get out of the hospital. I mean, they, they've been cooped up. They want to come out here. They want to get some vitamin D. We have a big food bag, feed bag. I mean, these guys come out and they eat and they have a good time. And it's a lot of good fellowship with the guys. And a lot of them just want to talk. They just want to be out of the hospital and have somebody else to talk to. Rich, Rich got this idea for this 10 years ago probably 11 years ago. It took about a year to get this off the ground. Uh, if you remember back back about then, some of the lake areas, Table Rock, I think Truman, a lot of the guys who uh, were guides and had their boats around there were doing this with boats. And of course, in this area, you can't do anything. Rich is a vet. Uh, you can't do anything like that because there's no place to put all the boat, boats in and, and easily and get guys fishing and so he came up with this idea. His uh, cousin runs the is the head conservation agent out here at Bush Wildlife. So we were able to work something out where we have this uh, lake that's for groups. It's a special lake that's just for groups to come out. It's not public fishing on this lake. So it's really kind of overly stocked. Mm -hmm. And uh, it works out. It just worked out well for everybody to come out here. And a lot of the guys will come out, men and women, and uh, they'll just come out and just want to sit around and enjoy the day, like we said. And, there, some of them are interested in fishing, some are not, and uh, it just gets them uh, like an out to get away. So for you guys, anyone that doesn't know, Bush Wildlife has about 30 decent sized lakes, but the one we get is the private lake, the one they stock, the one they really maintain. And they, they actually offer us to use that lake specifically for this event every year. But anyway, thank you guys, I appreciate this event. I know this is my first time and I'm excited already. This is going to be an awesome day and hopefully we're going to catch some big fish for some veterans. Hopefully so let's go rain. fishing. Yeah. You know, let's keep Good. the rain. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Bill. Thanks Rich. Thank you. Thank I'm you. excited.
Alright, so I was able to steal a really awesome group away uh, from all the activities. I got the American Legion Riders, Chapter 313. They're based out of St. Peter's, Missouri, which is awesome because that's where I live. They have been supporting this event since almost year one. I think they said about nine years running now, yep. eight, nine years running. That, to me, is unbelievable. I mean, I was probably in high school nine years, ten years ago. Sorry, age, <laughs> age check there. Hey, camera guy, come a little closer. All right, this is our group for American Legion Riders. This is a small part of us. Uh, we have about 33 of active members right now. As he said, we're out of St. Peter's, Missouri. We go out to these different events to help uh, support all the veterans for different events, uh, even funerals. But we mainly try to concentrate on the homeless and Christmas time food and toys for tots, all that good things that help people that are alive. We also are involved in what we call the Legacy Run, which is coming up in a few weeks. And we raise money to support children of parents that were killed from a 9-11 and help them get a college education. Uh, we started this chapter back in 2001. Uh, we were under the American Legion companies or Legion family for three years before they officially recognized us. We gained the Legion membership by 10% the first year we were involved. We've raised 4.5 million as of the month for the Legacy Run, which all goes strictly for the kids and the families for these veterans that have been killed. So it's a great, great organization. We have a great, great, great group of guys and gals. And uh, we don't tell you, you got to ride a Harley. We got them riding Hondas. We got them riding K&Ms. All you have to do is ride and participate and give a little bit to the community, plus support the veterans. Anybody want to add anything? I mean, that sums a lot of it up, I would think, but I mean, somebody's got to have something, right? Come on. I think we're, we're a wonderful organization. We've all been together for quite some time. We're all a family. Um, if any of us are in need, we're there for each other as well. Um, we've all been together for quite some time and are looking for new members. We want to help those veterans that are coming home and need a support group. Our Vietnam vets know what it was like when they came home. There was nobody there for them. And we want to be there for those vets that come home now. So if they need a support group, they can come to our meetings and just sit in and uh, listen to what we have to do and what we do, and um, we can be there for them. How many of you guys served yourselves? That's incredible. I just got to say thank you very much for your Me. service. Keep your hands up so I remember all you guys. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for your service, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Him and I were in Vietnam together. <laughs> was Same Vietnam unit. Era, Same unit. Yep. And not only do we do activities uh, for the community, we also get together and we do barbecues and bonfires and... Um, Chuck Wag Bridge. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What more can you ask, guys? This is what it's all about. Not only do we love fishing, but we love giving back to our community, especially those veterans who are in dire need in the United States. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys taking the time and doing this. Uh, so let's go enjoy some fishing, some food, some fellowship. One additional thing, this year we also supported Texas with the hurricane. Yes. Yeah. We yeah. had a couple of rods. A couple, couple trucks. Doc was trailers. one that... Yep. We're not only located in Missouri, we kind of travel. You guys do it all. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yeah, we took right. awesome. probably about $25,000 worth of supplies down Man. in Texas. Man, that's awesome, guys. Well, I appreciate everything you guys do. I know this is my first time here, but I hope to be here next year. Yeah. Uh, I'm part of Heaven's Anglers Bass Club, and we do a actual catch a vet tournament, and we'll raise money for veterans as a club as, as well. We usually do that down at the Lake of the Ozarks. We just had it a couple weeks ago, so 
Uh, our club not only is about fishing, but it's about uh, God, His wonderful creation, and uh, fellowship and giving back to the community as well. So this is why we're out here, and this is why we help support this. This is my first year because I just joined the club maybe a year ago, but we got some other guys that are definitely going to be here. I've been doing it for four or five years as, uh, as well. So, oh, yeah. Good. All right? Good. All, right. All right. Thank Good. you very much. Fishing here with Mike, caught a little perch, by yay big. The hook was just buried in there, so I cut the line. He was bleeding, it'll rot out, or it'll rust out. As soon as I threw the fish back into the water, six pounder, five, six pounder came up and just destroyed that sunfish. It was gone, like flared everything, mouth. I wish I could just like, I, I can re-image it in slow motion through my head. It was awesome. But now we got a snake. Uh, he's a. Uh, he's a. Uh, he's coming in. You know, he's he's not too happy. He's curious. Like who are He's like, what's going on? This is my lake. Too bad uh, Isaac's not here. I think he's trying to slip in there. New development out here. We got a storm. It's pushing west of us. Hopefully it stays away. We don't want this event ruined by rain or thunder or anything like that, lightning. But those clouds are awesome looking, just awesome. See the rolling. I don't think it's Mamatis clouds, but they look pretty close to Mamatis clouds. You just hear all that thunder in the distance. So let's be praying that it stays away. But enjoy that view because it's awesome.